Uh, Mr. Bhatia, thank you very much uh, for the nice introduction. And it's always uh, good to start with uh, giving the awards first uh, and delivering the now my topic part. Uh, I would like to give thanks to the entire uh, HRD Congress team for making this a uh, great platform which connects people to people. I really love it. And this is my first, uh, in fact, uh, appearance on this platform. And I'm sure I would be able to learn a lot and also to contribute that what is happening in and around the industry also. So uh, today, uh, as I'm from Uflex, uh, and the company is engaged in the manufacturing of packaging materials, consumables, inks, adhesives, machines, and not only the Indian platform, but in the global platform also. Okay, okay. I think that's uh, some slides needs to be here. And uh, before the slides came into the board, I would like to say that the, my topic is nurturing the talent for the future packaging. You know, the packaging is an integral part of our life. And I'm sure that the people who are all sitting here, they must have some sort of a Mentos. And this is also contains uh, some sort of a packaging. The moment you consume the packaging, this is what the, we say that this is our part of our life. During the COVID, it has been given us a new life, new experiences, and the new way of dealing with the difficult situations. You know that it is exactly the second year anniversary today. I can say that we have completed just two years for the COVID. First, the lockdown was announced. And when the lockdown was announced, our factory was operational within 48 hours as we manufacture all the essentials for the packagings for the all FMCG companies. So there was, there was a difficult time for us, for the people, and our team, our HR team, they have done a tremendous, the great job to make sure the people will remain healthy as well as the continuity of the entire plants and operations were there. You know that the difficult time was there when the government has given us some permission for only the 30% of employees can come at the site. And that was the biggest challenge for us to delivering the one of the safest packaging during that era, particularly for March to June. And after that, you can see that. At the same time, the demand for the packaging has gone up uh, because the, everybody was at home. The people were co cooking at home. They were eating at home. The family was together. And that's the reason the demand for the FMCG companies has gone up. The pipelines were completely empty. The demands were there for delivering the material in day and day now, particularly for, you can say, the food stables, like, like all kind of the, the ATA, the typical homemade articles, and everything was been uh, on high demands. So that's the reason what I say that it's a very important that the packaging will remain with us, packaging will remain around us, and that's our responsibility to deliver the one of the state of the art packagings, and it will only come when we have a good talents. And it has got a lot of, lot of complexities are being around. So before I'll be talking what are the key initiatives are being taken by the UFLEX for nurturing the talents, it's important to just get us some fair about, idea about what kind of the packaging industries are being in India. So the people needs packaging. And I'm sure that, that the COVID has really taught us one of the safest way of living life is the only the packaging parts. We all are having a preferences to get our food packed. All the kind of the pharmaceutical, any kind of the products are being there. We prefer to pick up in a packaged form. People need packagings, I'm sure. But at the same time, the packaging industry also needs the good people. And this is the one of the biggest challenges, how the industry has transformed, how the market has changed, how the, how the, how the uh, new kind of the packaging technologies have been evolved. And there are multifold, multifold challenges are around. And that's the reason when I talk about the people, it's important to understand what kind of the organizations we are working, because 
it is ultimately the food safeties and compliances. So what Uflex says that we are a part of your daily life. We ensure your packaging is safe, your material is safe, the food consumed is safe, and that's all we talk about. And that's the reason we said that we need to focus on the people also who makes the one of the best class of the packagings available in India. Now, go back to the history. Like 30 years back, the what kind of the packagings were available? What kind of the stores were there? What kind of the products were available? If you look at the, how the consumer behavior has changed over the last three decades, some of you who have been experienced in the 70s and 80s kind of the packagings, and the packagings and the materials were available typically in the Kirana shops, the street shops, your next door shops. And who, the shopkeeper was the brand owners. We never asked that who is the person, what brands he's selling. We are only trusting the shopper guy. And he said that, OK, whatever the materials are being given to us, whether it is the complaints are being there, quality issues, they complete, complete rely on the shopkeepers. And these are typically shops were available when the people were looking only for the basic needs. We never talked about the packagings over there. In the mid-90s, there was a complete uh, the changeover, the introduction of the online stores. A lot of uh, super stores came. And by the time the super store came, the demand for the packaged food, healthy foods, health, hygiene, care, beauty care, women care, all kind of the things, and the people started choosing the brands when going to the different kind of stores. And that was, that has also given us a lot of impulsive buying. When you are in the market, you are going to buy your three items, and you are coming back with a full cart, and that's the way how the packaging has impacted our life, it has introduced in our life, and you can say the customer has started relying on the brands. Then after that, Post-COVID, the online. And everybody has now started also getting the preferences, the what kind of the materials are available. And here you know that what is the more important. The people are also looking at the product contents. The people are also looking at the feedbacks. Nowadays, you buy any product, you read the 10 feedbacks, then you say, oh, this product is going to work, this product is not going to work. Even if it is a standard brands, if it is the big brands, if the, some comments are being there, and the people will say, wow, this is a great product. And this is all comes the impact of the packagings. And how do we, you can see here, the consumer feedbacks are very important over there. So if I look at the Indian market, uh, what kind of the opportunities are lying here? What kind of the capabilities are lying here, particularly? And when we look at the opportunities and capabilities, we look at the capabilities of the teams, capabilities of the technologists, and the, and the, the team managements. So now I can say here, my 60 to 70% purchases are made on the shelf itself. Most of the brands, the people go there, to the shop, they just look at it. And out of that, the 70% the people are preferring these are the data that are available, the packaged food. People are preferring the packaged food. And research also said that one third of the packagings decides your choice of your selection of your materials. I'm just giving you, you may be asking that, OK, why it is important? Because once we understand the challenges, once we understand the trends, then we can fix that what kind of the talents are needed to address these markets. Indian packaging industry is almost a $50 billion in 2090s, which is going to be a $200 billion in 2025. That tells me there is a tremendous growth of packaging in next three years by 2025. Today, the packaging is contributing the fifth largest to the, our GDP, while the global also, the 52%, 52% of the packaging is the dominated in the food and the pharma segments. So this tells me there's a big opportunities are being there. So are we ready to, for the growth? When we look at the market, yes, the potentials are being there. We can say, yes, products are being available, markets are being there. If you look back 
and Indian consumes 11 kgs of plastic per year. And average Indian consumes living in the cities 11. While as an American, they consumes 109 kgs. You can imagine, are we overpackaged? Do we have a, all kind of packagings are available around? I'll say no. And that's the reason we say that there is a growth opportunities. And when we talk about the opportunities, then we need to look into the capabilities also for to address these kind of industries, because in India, we are still at the basics. We have not reached the packaging to the mature level. And that's the reason we said that we are entering to the market. And that's the reason our growth rates are much, much bigger than any other industry and any other segments also. So uh, uh, when we go to the market, what do we, do we see? We find uh, three aspects. One is the branding, then shelf life, and then the safeties. The how, the how safe is my products are being there. But coming as, as a manufacturers, we have a lot of responsibilities, lot of responsibilities. If my packaging has to go to the environmental protections, we ensure that the packaging is free from temperature, free from pressure, free from atmospheric effects. You have seen that the, the products are being sold on the highways. The products are sold in the road sites. And there is a big exposure, big exposure of heat, light, pressure. And we make sure that the technicalities, the products are safe. At the same time, it is a responsibility of ourselves. Any wrong design and any wrong decisions can lead a lot of brand damage also. There was a cases in 1991 when the, some coffee beans were having some mineral oils. And that has come from the jute bags. At the same time, there was an ITX. There are some components of the in chemicals, which has gone to the baby milk. And there were a lot of recalls in some of the countries because the baby milk was contaminated. There was also, you all of you are aware, that the Maggi was banned in 2015. There was a reason of uh, lead, MSG, people talked about. And after that, there was a big emphasis of the safe packaging so that the product will remain same. There is a no migrations, no adulterations. And this has given a major, major consequential damage. And that's the reason you can see the Maggi was completely out of shelf for almost three years. Why I'm talking all these things? Because when we look at the product, the, we need to work. We need to work in the directions. India is a challenge. Logis logistic challenges are being there. The shipping the material from one location to another. Your packaging has to have so much of resistances to be there. It can bid hold all kind of quality works. So that's the reason when I said that, a lot of technical people needs a lot of interactions. Lot of, it is highly manpower intensive, highly technical intensive. Unfortunately, there is nothing like books like being there that somebody will go and read the packagings. The challenges which is happening in the north is entirely different. The challenges which are there in the western region Absolutely different. The Western regions are a more rainy seasons. You have a lesser temperatures. The daily temperature are two degrees, where we have a different exposures of the packagings. And we make sure that the same packaging holds your, the, the oxygen, the bond, the everything for six months, eight months of life. And there we need to do a lot of interactions uh, on the raw materials developments. The kind of the formulations, the formulators we require in our job. The kind of the converters. The, the, we get involved, all the printers and uh, FMCG companies, there's a direct interactions. They come, they design, they talk, and then, then we talk about the new developments, new innovations. You can say the packaging is also becoming a smarter, like your smartphone. Packaging is also getting like intelligent, a lot easy, easier packagings. The basic packaging can be transported also. So uh, if I, I'm just taking you through what kind of the complexities are being there in the industry, 
And uh, if you look back, any typical lace, I'm sure that everybody had a lace uh, sometime. They must have really liked it. This contains a four layer of packagings, four layer. Second, this the printing has to be done. We need an ink system, we need a adhesives, which can be done in a 400 to 500 meters per minute. Can you imagine that the 500 meters of film is being printed, like typically a lace, and you cannot see from your uh, 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 naked eyes that what kind of the printing is being done and what kind of the challenges are being thrown towards the ink industries and the packaging industries are being there. And that's the reason, if you look at the microscopic, there are a lot of dots are being there. If any dots are being not transferred, as a, as a responsible company, we are not doing our job. And that's the reason we said that this makes our job more and more critical. One is a safety part, another is a functionality part, the product shelf life, and that's the reason we, that's the complexities of human math power really goes up. Now, coming to the, my topic, there is a lot of challenges to get the right talents, to address all kind of uh, the packaging aspects, because it requires a multifold technical experts. If you go from the my right, the technical support, we need to manage our ink operations. Our technicians goes work on a press. There is a dedicated technical services team who ensure that the performance is being given to the printers. Then the brand owners, the one level of the skills and competencies are required to educate and interact directly with the brand owners like Nestle, PepsiCo, you take any names because they have a different requirements. There is a different downsizing of uh, the laminate size, the packaging materials are also thinning down and that's the reason I said that there's a tremendous engagement requirements are being there. Unorganized industries, extreme lift. Industry is very fragmented. The printers are very organized to very unorganized. And that's the reason this gives us a big challenge to deal with all kind of the experts, those who are having a lesser knowledge, lesser experiences also. High diversities, a lot of changes are happening. The market is different, the people are different, the skills are very low, and we need to manage their operations, production operations also. Compliances. You know that now today, a lot of regulators, government bodies are in actions. FASSAI is completely monitoring what kind of the contents are being there, what kind of the packagings are being there, how does it work, how does it may have an impact, what kind of the migrations, what kind of the chemicals. And we need a lot of microbiologists. We need a lot of printing technologists. And that's the reason we say when we deliver, we deliver with the responsibility, we deliver with the sense of awareness, yes, we are making our food safe, making our society safe. Know how, there's a big gap. We need a lot of, lot of, lot of technologists, experts, who understand what is the real core of the packagings. You have a printing challenge, you have a performance challenge, you have a logistic challenge, you have a storage challenge, you don't have organized stores, and that's the reason there is, a, there is a big task on us to hire the different kind of people. Those who can understand the technicalities and then you can move us in a safer way. So, people play a major role. It's not like process-based, maybe, or service-based, or automobile-based industry, where you give a one command and you'll get output. No. There is a lot of science to make an art of the packagings. But there's always debate, it is art or science. I'll say a lot of science is behind to make sure the product is being packed in a safer way. And that's the, that's the role of the people come, and that's the reason they have the big challenge on our uh, HR team to make sure that they get the right talent on board with the right skills and right competencies. Now you can see here the, what kind of the people frame uh, work we do. We have a team of innovators. We hire the people, those who are constantly on the innovations, because now we have to deal with the 
typical kirana shop to the organized stores all kind of consumers i cannot say that okay my products works only for a one particular uh, market no changing trends how many times you have seen that the milk is now being in the poly bag for years and years safely it has replaced a lot of glass bottles in earlier 80s there was only the breads and the biscuits were available and rest of the things were not nobody has thought of that the haldiram bhujia and lays will be so fresh and as looks at that is it has been made freshly in the typical uh, shop compliances there's a lot of restrictions are happening not only in india in the global platform also you can see here us fda for for canada for middle east for africa every country has coming up with their own and that's the reason it becomes our job more difficult to make sure that the compliances are so we need to hire we all also having a team who are the experts in the in the complete analytical jobs they are the complete laboratory setups are being there sustainability it is again one of the hottest topic today lot of uh, people are talking for the green laminates recycling laminates and i am happy to announce that uflex has developed the technology and mechanism the, all the plastics can be recycled all the multi layer can be recycled we have a set of a nice plant in our noida sector 60 and then we say that entire the packaging is recyclable and that's the reason we are working as a responsible company to make sure the sustainability is also being taken care on site consultancy this is a big team we have hired more than 38 people just to support the customers premises they go there they train the people they run the product and that's the reason we say the people plays a very vital role it's a very important role whatever the product you see there is a lot of work has been done so how do we develop our uh, talents uh, so what are the initiatives uh, we are taking so when we hire the people and there are a set of the technical expertise and who knows they are the primarily the printing technologist they are primarily the microbiologist they understand the chemistry they understand the formulations and they work with the packaging and uh, users as well as the printers both and we need to con constantly evolve them educate them because we are the not only we are talking for the today we are preparing for the future also engagement and how they engage and grow there is a constant the training programs are being there and the training programs uh, is a functional programs technical programs and that's the reason the young talents are now in fact uh, aspiring to uh, take a bigger uh, career in the packaging industry unfortunately in 90s when the industry was just started none of the people were coming and uh, looking for their own uh, uh, career in this industry and that's the reason today we are so matured we are getting matured but we don't have a skill man power skill leaderships those who understand the technicalities of the packaging also sense of purpose the next generation they want to work with the companies which are very futuristic they want to see that how the organization is growing how the market is growing and where our focuses are being there and that's the reason we take care we run the constant drive we constant uh, development programs also diversities training and investments i'll be covering on the later slides diversities also the kind of the diversities the the, the packaging style is changing user style is changing and that's the reason the hr is a completely active in in making the entire design programs to make sure that people are well aware and then what the responsibility we owe so in addition to what the requirements are being there for the packaging industry the lot of initiatives are driven by our corporate hr as well as my chemical hr both in a sing so learning maskets kaizens reverse mentoring youth club i will be just giving you more brief in the next few of more slides also so what we have identified when we are looking for the talents developments the talents management what we have identified that if you look at the functional competency skills and business knowledge that's a very important for us and it contributes 
the 50 percent of entire of the human efficiency. And that's the reason we say, knowing your subject knowledge, knowing you having a skills, and then you are also having a business knowledge also is very important. And this is the way how do we address and how we train our people to develop the, uh, our future uh, uh, talents. And in addition, the other programs are also being in place. So how do we do a competency uh, framework at UFLEX? We have identified the functional level and core competencies. And I'm sure that is a standard format and all the companies are definitely must be doing. The, the basic objective of sharing here that for the packaging point of view, the business knowledge, the functional competencies are much, much more important. And uh, as I said that, packaging requires lot of human interface, lot of human interface. The people are talking, people are meeting. This is the only industry I can say entire of the lockdown, the only the packaging industry were working. While the food, malls, restaurants, laser, travels, everything was stopped. But it is only the packaging people, those who are working day in, day night, ensuring that the product is being safe, the materials are delivered at the level of the satisfaction. The commitment is from our side. So what we say here, when I look at the core competency, the business knowledge, innovations, constantly you can see that the kind of the, the water bottles were available 10 years back, the today it is thinning down. The kind of the packagings of the, uh, uh, the various kind of materials. Even uh, I'll not uh, uh, say the particular product, but you can say how the materials are being changing. Easy tears, easy replaceable. Even uh, uh, opening, uh, there are some cheaper pouches. The bigger pouches, you can uh, close the pouches also. And it requires a lot of, lot of working and make sure that the people are competent enough to understand. Accountability and ownership. There's a big claims, huge, huge claims are being there if some of the, the decisions are not taken uh, properly. Some of the raw material selections are not being done. There is extensive, extensive uh, uh, raw material processes are being there. And that's the reason uh, uh, there's a role of uh, how many times? Five minutes? OK, I'll just run quickly. So this is the competency framework. We also run a lot of learning and development programs that is in support with our corporate HR. I must say my, my corporate HR is highly, highly active and visible within Uflex. And I, I take a pride and because I'm working this company for the last five years, and this is the experiences which I've made compared to the other industries. And that's the reason what I said that before pandemic, 1920, we have a total 24,000 hours of L&D programs in chemical business. Today, this year, although there was uh, restrictions in the people movements, people, uh, uh, we cannot organize the external programs, external training programs. But this year, till January also, we have conducted more than 12,000 hours of training programs. That is the constant in our DNA. The trainings and the developments, learnings and the developments is the key for the, our people and which we constantly evolve. And that's the reason we said that our industry is completely, completely human-based, human-focused. I'll run a bit faster. There are some awards recognition programs are being there, governed by the, uh, our corporate HR. Beyond Call of Duty, this is something, in fact, uh, we have honored the people, those who have worked during the COVID period, when the travel challenges were there, when the movements were there, when the absenteeism was too high, when the one third the people were working, and there was a high level of commitments to deliver the materials to the FMCG companies. And that's the reason we have honored some of the great people who has worked day in, day and night, and we have introduced this kind of uh, award and recognitions. Pratishta, this is again one of the, our corporate initiatives to retain, to develop, to attract, to empower, and to make sure that the people are contributing to the values. They're saving the values. They're creating a values for the organizations. They're working out of the box. They're giving out of the box solutions. Because ultimately, I can say there is no software which can come and which can work and then tell, OK, this is the final product. No. 
everything has to be come from the people's mind. Organize the five phase programs. We have uh, some programs running the five phase at the different unit levels. We have also Mahatwa. The Mahatwa is uh, basically the monthly RNR programs. Those who are doing on the top of their jobs, they are monthly recognized. Spardha is a youth club activities. A lot of people are being there. They, they, they come up with the innovative ideas, the cross functionals. Our industry requires a lot of collaborations, a lot of collaborations. Sambad is a lot of good ideas are coming from the production floors. And we encourage the people, a lot of the safety related, a lot of inputs we get, the best people, those who are working on, the, on these production floors. And we take care, we honor them, we listen to them, we give them opportunity to speak out, and that's the reason we move forward. I'll not uh, say something, there is some, some of the glimpse, some of the numbers. I'm running uh, short of time. There are some monthly nominations, which already we have got 81% uh, of conversions. How do we honor the people? Then the Pratishta and the Beyond uh, Call of Duties are being there. Then Ispardha, as I said that, the new ideas are being inducted into the system. The Samvat, the two ways of communications. <laughs> These are the, some pictures and uh, how we do employee engagement. That was a Republic Day celebrations. This is like some Christmas. You can see all reds. Then the New Year. So that's uh, uh, all about the people part. On last two slides, I would like just to give you a brief that what is Uflex. So we are the vertically integrated packaging company. We are constantly engaged, manufacturing, design, development, all the basic raw materials to the finished goods of the packagings. We are a global company, and uh, we have a different verticals, holography, films, packaging, liquids, chemicals, the business uh, which I'm from. Engineering, we make the manufacturing of the all kind of machines, printing machines, cylinders, and this is the how the entire supply chain of the packaging requires Uflex is a one-stop solutions. About the chemical business, uh, uh, we are one of the vertical of the Uflex, and we produce all kind of inks, coatings, adhesives, and polyols. So whatever the color you see on the packagings, whatever the film layers are being laminated, we manufacture the adhesives, we manufacture the inks, and there are a lot of effects are being there we manufacture the coatings also. <coughs> we have a total strength of 550 people work in chemicals, whereas in the corporate is much, much more in the thousands, in fact. We have an R&D of 44 people, the technical services of 38 people, sales are 35. So you can see out of the 550 50 people strength, 80 people are constantly engaged in the customer support. And that's the reason what I said that taking care of the people's management and their strength. We are working with the exporting to the 20 countries, including Russia and Ukraine also. And uh, we have a plants in uh, Noida and Jammu. The two plants are being there. And we have installed capacity of 67,000 tons. So you all of you know that, the five Ps of packaging, I'm sure. But it's still, it's my job to remind uh, each one of you sitting here so it's a people, and again I'll say it's all people, 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 people. There's a nothing like the product. There's a nothing. The product is people. Price is people. Positioning is also people. The only the people plays a major role in driving the organization's functions. And we say that it is all about managing people. It is not the managing the business. And uh, this is what I'll say here. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Uh, I was running a bit faster because I've been told that uh, this is the 30th uh, anniversary and uh, the time was al also allotted 30 minutes. So I thought let's honor that one also. And uh, thank you very much uh, for your kind attention. I'm sure that you have got some perspective of the challenge on the people front as well as the packaging fronts also. So thank you very much. Thanks a lot.